Hi guys, it's Angie, Weasel539. Um, I just want to share this project with you that I've been making today. Um, it's taken most of the day to do it between like laundry and lunch and odds and ends like that. And it's this, um, it's a wreath um, from a kit that I had at the NEC craft show last Saturday. Um, they come, I'll show you how they come in a minute, and they come in like a pack of three. And the flowers are just... Um, you get eight sheets of paper of eight sheet flowers, and you get the three wreath bases, and you get the ribbon. Obviously, you add your centres like I've done, and your stickles or whatever you add. Um, so I just want to show you really what what it, what it kind of comes like. The um, I'm I'm holding the phone by the way because I can't um, really get the stickles to show up when it's kind of just in one place. Um, that's the base that you get it's just a circle cardboard sort of chipboard circle you just take these little things out um, there's two there at the top and they're the two that you put the ribbon through to make the hanger then all the others you just take um, sorry you just take a, um, a black and a white piece and thread it through at the back and um, tie it. What I did to start with was I, if you can see on the back, it's, it's not neatest on the back, but um, I'm just being careful because my stickles is still a bit wet. I edit it with antique linen, um, and I in fact, um, that's the antique linen there. I in fact edged all the flowers um, with the antique linen as well. Um, that's kind of the picture that you get. Um, Try not to get it glary. Um, buy um, craft work cards, as you can see there. I say you get everything to make three, although I'm not totally sure there might be enough ribbon, but you can soon add a little piece of ribbon. They come in all different colours, um, and me and my friend, we bought them between us because there was buy two, get one free. So we both like the black and white one. This is called black and white, even though it's more of a black and white and cream. <laughs> Um, and then we had like a green and pink one and we've sort of split that she's had two and I've had one because I had some extra paper that we'd also split between us so that's the picture that's how the, 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 the flowers come That's there's two different sheets there's that sheet there and there's that sheet there so obviously it doesn't tell you how to make the flowers up because that is entirely your choice and that's the ribbon that it comes with there. So, um, yeah, I inked all the edges, as I say, in the antique linen. And then I just started playing with the flowers. Some are rolled. Um, some are flat. They're all layered up. Um, I've used, to stick the flowers onto the base, I used this, um, you know, the very sticky red tape. And it's two millimetre wide. Very narrow, so I had to use my my good old um, pokey tool to um, get the backing off. I also used the needle part of the pokey tool to um, uh, curl the edges of some of the flowers up with. Ooh, I've got a bit of glue on my phone. There you go. Um, the glue I used to stick the flowers together with is this one. A, um, original high tack, all purpose, very sticky glue. It's a really good glue. You can you can use it for anything. Really good glue. And then lastly, I put um, the centres in the flowers. I've put some big beads in the two white flowers, and I've put some stickles on there as well. I've got um, that. You know, it doesn't focus, but the bead at the top is actually a rose with stickles on it. I've got a tourmaline bead, there, and I've got some small beads there. And I've got a very um, iridescent bead there. So I'm really pleased with it. What I'm going to do, that's it, that's it, um, picked up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box for it. Um, and I'm going to send it, actually, well not send it, give it to my mum and dad um, instead of like a Christmas card this year. So then they can use it as an ornament and knowing my mum she'll keep it forever. I think she's still got ones that I made as a kid at school and she brings them out every year. You know the toilet roll tubes? 
with bits of cotton wool and Santas on them and stuff like that. So <laughs> hopefully she'll keep this one too. So um, I just thought I'd like to share that with you. Um, I had a great fun making it. Um, I don't know who to send the other two yet because um, they're like really for like really special projects. I mean, they don't really have to be Christmassy. Um, you could kind of send them for any occasion, but I think glittered up with the stickles, I think they look really, really nice. Um, the stickles I used, oh, sorry, I can't remember if I said. Oh, sorry, I keep putting my finger in front. It's the um, Stardust. That's what it looks like. Stickle Stardust. That's the one I've used. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Bye.